Okay, cool. Okay, let's go. Uh, hi everyone. I'm Hannah. Um, I'm the director of fundraising at Quench C, and this is Mo, and I'm leading digital strategy, which um, includes social media for Quench C. Yeah, so we've been reading all your comments and we thought we'd just do a review of some of them because they've been really entertaining us and we've enjoyed reading them. Um, and some of them have been really standing out, so we're keen to kind of discuss them. Um, so first of all, Mo, what do you think we've kind of learned so far from all the comments we're reading? Um, so what I've learned actually is that our people are finding our device kind of fascinating. Um, there's people out there who are really wanting to use stuff um, like this. Um, and we've had a lot of DMs, um, which has been really crazy, almost not being able to keep up. Um, mm -hmm. Excitement about the device. Um, and some people think that the humanitarian side um, of Quench C is awesome as well. Yeah, no, that's been really great to see, actually. We've got, um, I think what's been best for me to have seen is this is the first time we've really made this public. It's been so much hard work, so much research has gone into it, a lot of um, business development as well as product development. And this is the first time we've really opened it up, like by telling people about what we're doing. And we're seeing, yeah, some really great support, but also some really good feedback as well. So people are kind of saying, it'd be great to know this, it'd be great to hear about how you're doing this. And now we've just got a better idea of what our community want and what we need to share, which I think is really good. Exactly, I, I totally agree with that. Um, I mean, um, I think that definitely the community has given us some ideas about some um, content even that we can put out there or information that we can share. Yeah, definitely. Um, so this is, to be honest, the main reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted to look through some of the funny comments, which there have been so many of. Um, what has been your favourite? Um, it has to be, um, you know, there's a lot of men out there who are asking if they can desalinate their own urine. <laughs> I don't, I, like, I really don't get this. What is that about? Is this a thing? Honestly, I'm not sure, but I've been Googling it and um, the term <laughs> urophagia, so that's ingestion of urine. But I, I think probably it's, um, it's a bit of a joke, but it's, it's quite interesting um, how many times we've had that question. Um, so <laughs> people are thinking they're lost in the desert and they want to desalinate their own urine. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I mean, we are appealing to a lot of survivalists, like people that are really keen to be prepared, um, which makes sense because this is what the device is made for. And yeah, I guess um, while C is a useful resource, why not be able to use the resource that you produce yourself? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Only one thing, and it's that if you were really in a dire need of water and you're that dehydrated, you're probably not producing urine. So I'm not sure how that's going to exactly work. Oh, interesting. Well, it's, what's, what's really funny is that obviously we, we were all kind of discussing on the Slack channel, like, oh, every time we get like a similar question come up, we'll turn it into an FAQ for the Indiegogo campaign. And we might have to include that as an FAQ. <laughs> yeah, I think honestly, it's probably going to have to be top of the list. <laughs> Straight away, make sure that's, that's the first one people have the answer to. I'm just going to go through some of the, um, some of the comments I've been looking at um, that have really been cracking me up. Um, so what's, what's been really fun is that people have been like basically starting their own kind of conversations within the threads on the comments. Um, so there have been a few people teasing each other, which has been fun to see. Um, a few people, oh God, there's, there's actually so many urine comments. Like I, I'm actually wading through the sea of urine comments to try and find another one. Um, yeah, no, the, there's so much stuff. And we set up this, um, we set up this notification thing in Slack where every time someone comments, we get it in the Slack channel. And particularly, particularly today, it's actually been, like, can't even keep up that so many coming through. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, my phone's got no battery just because it's been vibrating all day. <laughs> you're so quick on the comments, though. It's unbelievable. I wonder, um, it'd be interesting if you're watching this video and you're, you're interested in, um, like, well, you, you want to give Mo some credit because you'll see that he replies the comments so quickly it's actually amazing so give him some comments of thanks please <laughs> okay so the last thing i want to kind of look at is our our favorite comments like the ones that are warming our hearts and keeping us going and there's one here that's really nice from eric handlin and he said every life but lifeboat should have one of these yeah that's that's good that's awesome so eric props to him because he totally gets what quench is about yeah, that's so nice. 
And um, let's see if I can find another one. I, one of my favorite, let me, I'm actually gonna search this, I remember, remember this one specifically. We were all talking about it on the main chat. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, oh yeah, here we go. There are two types, so this is from uh, Werner Smith. Thank you so much, Werner, this was such a lovely comment. So um, there are two types of people in this world, those who make things like this happen for the greater humanity and those who sit on the sidelines criticizing those who try and make the world a better place. People like Elon Musk and the rest of the abundance mentality thinking think that anything is possible. Right attitude, team of key players, ideas and opportunities. Thank you so much, that's so nice. And obviously um, what we're doing is so much of this, we're presenting this like consumer product because we really want it to um, boost our humanitarian effort and that's a huge, well, a huge motivation for all of us on the team and a big, big reason as to why I'm personally involved. Um, so thank, thanks for recognizing that, that was really nice. Um, what are your thoughts on that, Mo? I think it's a really good comment. I mean, at the end of the day, I think a lot of what we do in the world or personally or professionally is to do with our mentality. And it's just about how you interpret things going on around you. So we can either see a problem and just um, ignore it, or we can actually go out there and try to fix it. Um, and what a problem in the world is massive. I mean, there's 2 billion people out there right now who don't have access to clean water. And I think they will be part of the solution. Um, it's easy to go and kind of visit these people and see what they're going through and then come back here and live our normal lives. But I think we just kind of need to empower them to be able to help deal with that water shortage problem um, themselves. Um, one of the comments that I was really impressed with, um, which I was happy with, I haven't, I'm not reading it off the screen, but it was from a lady, and it was basically saying that um, she's really impressed with what we're doing at Quench Sea, and she thinks the initiative is amazing. Um, and she recommended that we, for each device that um, was sold, that we should actually donate one. And funnily enough, that's actually something that we've kind of been keeping under wraps, but we were planning all along. So we're happy that we've kind of found people out there who've kind of got the same um, philosophy as us. And I think, you know, especially in 2020, there's a lot of stuff about um, corporate responsibility, about businesses just not making money, but also making a change for the community. Mm. And we're really at global impact and we want people to remember the name. Yeah, completely. And I think that's so much of obviously the times we're in as well. I think it's there's so much rhetoric around building a better world, returning to a better world. And I think this is really why we wanted to launch now. We really want to be part of that that change moving out of this this crisis into a better world where more people have access to water. Exactly. I mean, you couldn't. You know, it's coincidental that it's happened during this kind of COVID pandemic, but. Yeah, it's, it just marries up with all the stuff out there about what people are kind of saying about um, the changes that are happening, how they're um, perceiving the world and maybe they're appreciating things that they didn't appreciate before. So mm -hmm. definitely being more kinder um, and this is kind of part of it. So that's why we've come up with this initiative. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's that. That's, that kind of rounds it up really nicely, actually. Thank you um, very much for all your comments. We really love hearing what you have to say, the good and the bad um, and the boring. We, we love them all. Um, all your comments really making a huge difference to us and helping us make Quench Sea better. Um, so please keep commenting, keep engaging with us. We're going to have more um, videos like this so you can meet more of the team and ask us more questions. And in the meantime, make sure you're all signed up to our pre-launch page and go go for an exclusive discount. And also um, join us on social media and the exclusive Facebook group as well, where we can um, give you some more behind the scenes content. So um, yeah, thanks Mo for, for joining. Um, I really appreciate your wallpaper. <laughs> can I say one thing? So I was gonna say as well that um, obviously we're gonna be going live really soon and um, we really want people to support this. Um, a lot of people are going to be buying this device because it's actually useful in their personal life, um, depending on what they're doing, whether they're um, hiking around the coast or they've got a boat or they're going out to sea for whatever reason. But also, even if someone isn't interested in it personally, um, there is the ability to donate for the cause. And we'd really appreciate it if people you know, have a think about that and share it with their friends and their loved ones. Yeah. Wow. Okay, great. Go on to end it. Um, thanks, everyone. And yeah, take care. Cool. See you later, guys. Cheers.